Okay, so now we have a different aesthetic. That's cool. Maybe it's not going to be a sewer level this time. Let's see. The Underworld. E5M6. God. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so the, um, the blue key is above the gold door, and the gold key is above the uh, silver door. Um, blue, silver, same thing. Okay, there's a bunch of lava, so it's instant, almost insta death. Really scared of get. Oh, just ogres. <laughs> Got splash damage still, just like in TF2. If you've never played Quake and you're wondering what the control scheme is like for Quake, um, and you've played TF2 rather, um,. Quake feels a lot like TF2. Sorry about that, one second. That was just my alarm. Okay, no you don't. Um, Quake feels a lot like TF2. It's like, okay, um... To try and describe it, um, you play as the s you play as the scout with um, the abilities of the soldier. That's kind of the best way I can describe it. I do not want that blue health. Oh, that that was that was sneaky. I still have red health left, and it doesn't matter like how much percentage you have left, as long as you still have it. Um, I have 75, um, armor points left, so that would have overridden it with 100, um, but it would have given me, um, let's see, what's, what's blue damage, um, blue damage, the blue armor I think is worth like 40%, so that would have been like half, okay, okay, up we go, jump up here, hey, getting some, um, what was it called? E... was it E4? Nope. Come on. Nope. Shouldn't have done that. I lost all my... all my red armor. It's gone. I'm gonna die. Oh, there's some infighting, thank god. You just see that? Uh... Well, I'm glad I kept the red armor. Even though it's gone now. I hope I can get some stuff back. Um. Okay. No! I was eviscerated by a fiend. Okay, I thought they were called demons. Oh, thank God! Um, so... Because of the save, I still have my red armor. I'm actually going to save right now. Just to see how things go. Clever. Uh, I'm getting some frame rate here, but again, that's just mostly the fact that I'm recording. Because I doubt this would be enough to slow down Quake. I wonder what, what they um, made these maps in. Um... Because um, there are a few uh, level editors you can use. There's a uh, trench broom, which is new. That's a uh, fully 3D level editor. Um, there's um, there's Jackhammer, which actually works with Gold Source games. I wonder if they use the original. Um, ah. dead? Yes, you are. I am still not getting you. No, sir. Though I wish I could go back and get you after I lose my entire armor. What is this? Oh, there's the exit gate right there. I wonder if, I, wonder if I can just sidestep it. 
Uh, nope. And I don't want to get stuck there. <laughs> I bet this, like, opens up when you come back or something. And then that's how you get through. Um, ugh. God, that was close. I almost just ran into it to get it. Oh, armor is good. Yeah, so a little bit dirty if you um, have superior armor and they just put an armor right there. But at the same time, if you have no armor left, that's pretty good. So, hmm. Feels sneaky, but it probably isn't. Nope, come on. I want to keep my armor as much as I can. And see if I can instigate some infighting. Yes, I can. That's pretty cool. Let's see who wins. The ogre or the... Oh, cool, the ogre. Okay. Um, infighting is incredibly useful um, for taking down enemies, so you don't have to. Or at least reducing their health. So I'm glad that happened. I actually have red armor left. I forget what happens down to Fiend. Fiend. Oh, where is he? There he is. Oh, there's two of them. Good. I stopped backing up because I thought I heard another one behind me. Okay. Well, <laughs> this one doesn't. This one actually feels fair, though, unlike the other one where I was having difficulty. Um, it doesn't feel. Well, then again, I have red armor. So if you didn't have red armor, maybe it would be more difficult. As it is right now, it's pretty cool. Direct hit with a rocket launcher. Okay, that should be one more hit, right? Nope. Missed. No! Yeah, th those things, those projectiles actually sidestep, so you have to be very, you can't just lead them, they're not just homing. So you have to kind of like, get get them a little bit closer to you before you can, I can't believe I missed. I mean, I know I'm playing without a crosshair, but something I like about Quake, um, and Doom, actually, is that the, the weapon is at centered at the bottom of the screen, so it's a little bit easier to aim even if you don't have the crosshair. Um, I might, I might turn on the crosshair after I defeat these guys, so, wish me luck. Oh. Nope, no, 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 Whew. infighting. This guy's still following me, though. Um, no! Oh. Ogre infighting! Oh, I thought it was, anyway. Okay, got you. I still have a lot of my red armor left, so that's good. Nope. Right. Good, 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 good. 100% health, 68 red armor. I'm doing much better this time. I'm, let's see. Should I turn on my crosshair? Yes. <sighs> I kind of hate crosshairs um, because then it feels like I don't. Well, okay, I don't like hate hate them. But to me, it feel then it starts feeling like less like aiming and more like a point and click. If that makes sense. 
Like, I just put my cursor over the enemy and click and boom, they are dead. Versus like this, the aiming feels a little bit more natural. Like, it's like obviously not going to be perfect. So my precision, precision is more based on how well I know the center of my gun. You know what? Just for... Just for the sake of it, I'm going to save here. Those demons, have, those fiends have more health. Okay, that was easy. That was easy. Turn my crosshair off because, ugh. It's, I don't know, it kind of ruins my immersion for some reason. Um, having the uh, crosshair. The... Uh, you know, the HUD, not so much, for some reason. It's like, knowing my health, that makes sense. Knowing how much armor I have, that makes sense. Um, because that would be stuff that I, as a person, would know, like, in real life. Like, how am I doing? I don't feel so good, or something like that. A crosshairs would be something you'd have, like, iron sights. That would make sense. Okay. Just, uh, yep. That's what I thought. Gotta have those corner enemies. Any secrets? Nope. <laughs> Look at all these bullets. Oh, 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 I see. It's our favorite. Aha! How's that feel? It don't feel good, do it. I'm gonna save some of these actually. Whoa! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was pretty scary. Just the uh, grenade coming right from my face as I backed up. Just nope, 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 nope. All right. Oh, thank God. Thank God it's not blue armor. Good hell knights. I don't even care anymore. Yeah, it's, uh, you can't seem to incite um, infighting with uh, the same monster. So if a Hell Knight hits a Hell Knight, then, you know, you don't incite infighting. And uh, infighting can make things a lot easier, so I'm not sure if that was a balance thing. But it feels like if in earlier levels they had a little bit more monster variety and less monsters, um, then that would have made it easier because then you can incite infighting because they can damage each other easier. Okay, what's around the corner? What's around the corner? Ooh! Good, I needed that. Corner. Oh, okay! Okay, silver rune key! I don't- I'm not even ashamed, I'm just saving. Um... This is before autosaves were invented. I don't think there's even a way, like an entity, to autosave. Maybe you could trigger it somehow, but... Hello. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> That's weird, they, they went the long way. Go around this corner. Where is he dead? Oh no 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 no! Huh. They're pretty easy to deal with once you. I mean, that's kind of obvious for a lot of these. Once you know what you're doing, they're easy to deal with. But. Dealing with them depends mostly on the environment. So is this the same? Okay. Time to choose. Okay, I'm gonna just try to stop abusing the saves. Even though I haven't died yet. No, okay, yep. Nope. I have a lightning gun, but that's not gonna help. Oh, good thing I wasn't in the water. How am I going to deal with this guy? I don't have any nail gun.
Nope. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's a that's a, um, a technique you can use to deal with shamblers. Um, for the record, I don't know if uh, Machine Games actually knows this, but rockets, yeah, rockets against shamblers is pretty useless. Um, like you'd basically be shotgunning them. <laughs> Um, lightning gun is good though, so I'm glad that was put in there anyway. Nail gun's good. I didn't have a nail gun though. There's a blue armor over here. What? Oh, it's a... Um, I... Th the, um... There was an ogre in the distance. I didn't really see it. <laughs> it's an army of ogres! Um... He was in the distance. I didn't see him. I just saw his, like, chainsaw and I thought he was a weird crab enemy. And I was like, what, did they add new enemies? Ooh. Oh, that's <laughs> just a dark places. Glitch! I don't want that. Alright, nail gun. Mega health. Is this a trap? No, it's not a trap. Okay. So that... You know what? That's something I kind of like about mega health. Is, um... It can be used as, if you're good at preserving your health, um, it gives you extra... But after a long battle, and say you're like really low on health, then it just refills it. So it's a um, it's a really good like risk not risk reward. It's a really good reward system for um, for just like how well you're doing in general. So if you're doing well, you get you get rewarded. If you're not doing well, you at least get saved. What's through here? Why are there two doors here? Hello, Mr. Hell Knight. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, come on! On the bright side, they can't shoot up. So, ha! Ha ha ha! Still have mega health left over. Flickering lights can be secrets, that's why I keep hitting them. <laughs> In case you were wondering. So I'm doing pretty well, so I'm gonna save. I'm pretty paranoid. Jump up here. What was that level called where you jumped through the pipes? It's quad damage. I don't know what's up ahead. You found a secret by turning around. Uh, okay. Wait. No, I just got the gold key, that's right. Shoot, 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 come on. We are rampage. Yeah! Still used it. Wish I would have remembered longer ago, though. Is this gonna drop me again? Please don't drop me again. Oh god, I need to stop doing that. I saw that. I see those Hell Knights down there. I also can't aim at them. <laughs> that's something that's really interesting about Quake. Um, they're really low poly stuff. Like, the player model is like under 300 triangles yet yet um, the silhouettes for the characters are still very easily readable oh no oh hello I didn't know you were a thing so okay okay so now we're doing the uh, portal one thing where we uh, ride on these Except without a portal gun. And no interpolation! Thank god I saved there. God, I thought it was going to bounce around not go under. Oh boy. Is there going to be a shambler? Hey, it's just ogres. Okay, whatever. This feels like a Disneyland ride. It's a small world after all. It's the underworld after all. Is there a secret here? This door opens from the other side. There is a secret, but I can't get at it. 
That's kind of cool. Through the gates. Found one secret, and I just found it by turning around. I wonder if I'd find other secrets just by looking up. <laughs> 